am Sarah. I'm a registered kinesiologist, and I'm here today with my fellow Lululemon ambassador, Craig. We're gonna teach you how to foam roll. Now, Sarah, I've been foam rolling for many years as a professional snowboarder, and I always work it in the recovery part mm -hmm. of my day, but I don't really know the major benefits of foam rolling. I've always just kind of done it. Three main benefits that I've seen through foam rolling. Number one, it's gonna help promote circulation, especially to those active muscle tissues. It's a self-massage. It feels great, especially on the muscles from sports, if you're working out at the gym, if you're doing a spin class yoga, it's helping to um, give those active muscle tissues a nice massage. And number three, trigger point. Any areas of tension or tightness is gonna help to relieve those specific pain points. What are things that I should think of before we get into this? Breath is number one. We wanna think about incorporating in our breath with our movement. So every time we exhale, we're allowing muscles to release, any areas of tension to release. Number two, we wanna work the angles. So muscles don't run straight up and down, they work in multiple angles. The last thing you wanna think about is going towards the heart. So whether we're going from our legs, we're going up towards the heart, or into our upper back and shoulders, we're going down towards the heart. One more question quickly. Uh, you have a big one and a small one. Does that make a difference? Travel size more portable. This one is the one we're going to use today for our how-to video. Awesome. This one here. All right, we're gonna go through the five different areas we're gonna foam roll today. Number one is gonna be our back. We're gonna head into our hamstring next. We're gonna go into our quads, our calves, and our IT bands. All right, we're gonna start with our back. So from the center of our back, all the way up to the top of the shoulders. You can even give yourself a little bear hug that's gonna open up your shoulder blades and help even deepen the foam roll release a little bit more. Just be mindful to breathe through your movement. How does it feel right now? Uh, I'm getting a lot of snap, crackle, pops here like the cereal, but I, it feels good. It feels really good, actually. That's awesome. It's not, it's not painful. Like, I mean, there's one spot where I kind of am sticking. Make sure you're breathing right. Go back to what we were talking about before. Take a nice big deep inhale breath. That's super important. And as you exhale, allow your body to release up and over top of that foam roller. All right, number two, we're gonna work into our hamstring now. Craig is gonna do it with two legs. If you have the balance and you have the ability to use your hands, go ahead and do it that way. If you want a little bit more balance, a little bit more control, go ahead and use it with one foot down and one leg up. And Sarah, I love this because you know what? The two legs with the white thing is just not enough for my hamstrings. Right. Uh, I'm blessed with some flexibility here. So <laughs> yes, um, I like to so. take this part out and it's a lot firmer. So you get a lot more of a, you know, a little bit of a, a deep tissue. Going on to number three, our calves. Craig's gonna go ahead and do it on one leg. I'm gonna perform this foam roll on two. Craig, how does it feel with the single leg? How are your calves feeling? You're a snowboarder. They must be really, really tight. I mean, I'm always in boots, right? So you're you're generating a lot of power from your calves. So this is such a good one to, you know, get in there, release it. It's almost like a reset. You hit the reset button on the calves. You're gonna have a lot of trigger points in that area. So it's really, really good when you're doing the single leg movement here to find those tricky spots stick on it, right? Hold that position, use your breath work, and you can even gently rock back and forth if that feels good as well. All right, we're gonna work into section number four. Our quad muscles, the top of our leg. Craig is gonna use two legs. I'm gonna use just one. We're gonna get up close and personal with the floor. We're gonna start from the very top of our hip flexors and roll all the way down to the tip of our knee, or very, very top of our knee. Remembering to connect with your breath. Craig, how are you feeling? I feel good. I need to connect with my breath on this one because <laughs> I, I, I feel the weight on the quads a lot, you know? Yes, definitely. And that, this is a great point to bring up. Again, never feel like you have to push through pain or discomfort. Use your breath to deepen the movement. We're gonna go into our IT band now. Craig, are you ready for this one? This one's wild. This is a little <laughs> bit wild, but friends, it's totally okay. Take your time getting into it. Once you're in it, it's a magical foam roll experience. So come on down to the ground. We're gonna go onto our side here. I always take the top leg and put it up and over top for balance. I have my hands down here for balance as well, and we're gonna kick that leg out. You're awesome. From the tip of the hip, we're gonna come all the way down towards the outer corner of the knee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you light a fire in here? <laughs> it's wild, it's, it's a tough one. Any pain points, remember we're gonna stop, hold, breathe. I might be stationary on this one, Sarah, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm and to you folks at home, you. I hope you're feeling the same as me. 
Thanks for joining us. And a little tidbit before you go, know that you don't necessarily have to do all five movements. Depending on the time frame that you're working with or whatever your body is needing that day, you can do this for 30 seconds, you could do this for five minutes, you could do one area or all five. Do what works best for your body. Thanks again, see you all soon. What the heck, Craig? That's wild. <laughs>